This is all of you. Uh, it doesn't actually appear on the list of games I can select on Twitch or on YouTube because it's a mobile game. And I remember working on mobile games and we got no respect. But this is actually a pretty cute little one. And so I wanted to, to you know, I've played only the first couple of levels uh, and I've seen another couple of games that are sort of like this. The whole idea of it is um, you're playing a story through multiple like comic panels and deciding what happens in each panel in such a way that you know you're trying to solve a puzzle of getting the characters through to the end. Um, there's a few other games like that. I can't think of their names right now, but this is a clever one. So let's have a look at it. So we'll continue the game that I started. I've played through the first four levels, so I've just gotten a basic tutorial. Not, not anything super uh, complicated. So the basic premise is, I'm a hen, and I'm trying to rescue all my chicks. I put all my chicks on a train trying to escape, I don't know, probably death at the hands of humans, and uh, my chicks have all fallen off the train in different places, so i got to rescue each chick one at a time. And the way I can control this game is, I can navigate left and right, you can see the sort of yellow highlight moving around, uh, and I push A to play out whatever happens in that panel. So if I push A here... The chicken starts to walk, do 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 do, and now you see little icons showing. Okay, the chicken is ready to enter the next frame. So I play the next frame. Chicken walks up, and I assume something bad happens. Yes. Well, that didn't work. Okay. So. Oh, what? I haven't seen this before. I can switch these two. I can switch the order of these two. Okay. So I knew I could control when they start and stop. I didn't realize I could switch the order. Well, it seems like uh, this is a tutorial level where once you learn the single skill you're here to learn, the solution is fairly easy. Okay, so it looks like any two panels connected by a line can be swapped. Aw, oh, my baby loves me so much. Hey there, awesome Twitch dude. Thanks for joining the stream. Okay, let's try level six. All right, so I've got one panel here one panel here, and I've got two panels here that I can switch the order of. So usually my first strategy is just let it play out and see what happens. So I imagine this is probably a chicken eating toad. Yep. Wrong kind of toad uh, for me to try to encounter here. So, well, what happens? Does anything happen in this frame? Nothing so far. What about this one? Okay, looks like if I play it without the chicken, Toad just sits there. So my guess is that if I walk the chicken into the second frame, the chicken will do something in the second frame that will then allow me to disable or bypass the Toad. So let's see. Ooh, okay, I got a collectible. Oh, wait a minute. Can I just... I can just switch it while the chicken is... Okay. Well, there we go. I can by bypass the toad. Okay, so we're learning some pretty straightforward tools here. Which is good. This is how you want to start a game like this. Let's see how they start combining these tools as we go. Okay, well, this seems... This seems perfectly tame. I imagine nothing bad is going to happen. Are we just going to have a snowball that gets bigger and bigger? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess what happens if the chicken doesn't get the chance to build as much of a snowball by the end. Does that make a difference? Oh no, I know what I need to do. Alright, so chicken goes through there. And then it goes through here. And then we... <laughs> oh wait. Oh. Oh, weird. Oh. I can, if I switch it while the chicken is between frames, the chicken stays between frames. Okay, so is one extra panel enough? 
Not quite. Okay. Let's try this one more time. So, chicken starts going. Chicken keeps going. Chicken keeps going. Chicken's still going. Now is it big enough? Yes. Oh, my little baby chicky. <gasps> my little baby chicky. So for people who have joined us late, this game is called All of You. Uh, and the idea is that I am a hen trying to collect all of my baby chicks that fell off a train. And, oh, what is this? Oh, I can flip this panel around. And so it's basically, it's like a com series of comic book panels uh, where these events will happen. And I get to mess with the panels to determine how things go. So I'm assuming that just flipping that panel means my chicken will make it over this ramp. Yes. I got my baby. <laughs> Wolfo says this is a weird game. But each of these, like levels so far has been clever and it's introduced a new concept like they haven't had any filler panels so far every single one of them has introduced something new okay so i don't know what benefit flipping this has so let's walk the chicken in and see what happens okay so chicken walks up it's like man no that's not cool Hmm, okay. So I think what I probably have to do is walk the chicken up to this thing and then flip it around so when the chicken walks back, it's walking back home to its baby chicky. <gasps> Hello, baby chicky. I got you. Oh, you are so safe with me now. You will not become a chicken McNugget. Level 10. Okay, I don't know what these stripy poles do and what reason I might have to flip them. But we're gonna... Some kind of horrible thing underneath the ground? What's that about? Okay, so I'm gonna walk... Oh, I'm gonna stop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you go off frame... Um... All right, so I can't, I can't turn these. Oh wait, yes I can. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. A little bit more complicated than the one I had to flip around, but uh, not by that much. All right, level 11. Some circles can't be paused. What? Okay, so this is just gonna run. And so I gotta figure out the right timing. So let's say... Okay, so I just need to load up my chicken. Oh no, it's just gonna... Okay, so I just had to get... I guess the chicken was gonna wait? Was the chicken gonna wait no matter what? So the main thing I just needed to do was time it so the chicken wasn't standing on the platform when it dropped? I don't know. This one might have been actually kind of low consequence. Uh, they could have just done it to illustrate how things work. Wait, what? Oh, man. I've never seen them use the vertical dimension before. Because my, ch my chicky is down here. And I can only pause and unpause. There's no flipping. And this one won't unpause. I mean, won't pause. So... Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Um... What happens if I play this one? By itself? Nothing. What about this one? Okay, it looks like nothing happens here, and I can't pause this one. So... I mean, I 
it seems like there's not much I can do about this. Okay, what... What are my options here? I can't flip anything. I can't swap anything. All I can do is pause and unpause. Chicken just walks straight into this trap. Is there some way... Is there some way I can dump the fish first? Oh, wait. <laughs> there we go. I said to pause it at exactly the right moment so only the fish fell in. And then I could drop the chicken. Nice. Oh, that was weird. Like, I I felt like I just had no tools available. Ex like, except for pausing and unpausing. And I was like, how could that possibly help? But if you just capture a little bit of chicken. Oh. <gasps> There's a little girl drawing a picture of a chickie. <gasps> That's so sweet. Well, what, what was that about, though? Yep. Can I get out? Okay. I don't know what that was about. I guess that was a story. Okay. So we've got a lighthouse rotating. Can't pause it. We've got this ship where nothing happens yet. So what happens if we bring... the chicken over here. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, so let's try that again. Only this time, when we see that thing coming... Alright. So we let that thing go by, then we flip them, and then let the chicken go through. Good thing that octopus wasn't uh, wasn't ready for a second slap. Oh, hey, we got some more people joining us here in the chat. We got Zed Soda, hello, uh, Jedi Psychtrix. <laughs> yeah, so I did finally get the kids to bed. Uh, Jedi Psychtrix, most of them anyway. I think the teenagers are still up, and I have no control over that. <laughs> Not Jamarda suggests that, that uh, the next level of this is going to be a shooter. Um, oh yeah. Uh, and and uh, Jawafawa says, "Oh, Mama Chicken Lemmings edition. Yeah, this is this is actually a little bit like Lemmings, at least in its theme. Okay, so we've got just the idea of the of the character is just going to march forward no matter what I do, and I've got to sort of lay track in front of them, lay safe track in front of them. So we've got some kind of enormous monster man here, looking right down at this. I can't swap any of these things around." Yeah, he's just going to sit there and stare at me. Um, what happens over here? Just leaves. I like how they've come up with just a little bit of motion in every one of these frames. So you can tell the difference between when it's paused and when it's unpaused. Okay, but I can't see anything happening here without the chicken. So I guess we're gonna, just going to mark the chicken right into certain death. Wait. Okay, so if he grabs the chicken at all, that's a problem. So let's start the chicken in here and then pause it. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be much I can do about this. Hello, Fluffy Panda. Thanks for joining me. Okay. Baby Chicks is going to wait there. And so there's nothing I can exchange, nothing I can flip. I'm, I've only got pausing and unpausing. Oh, Rusty Iron Pants. Thanks for joining us. I've only got pausing and unpausing at my disposal. So what am I going to do? Last time, I just had to interrupt. I had to interrupt what was going on. 
by unpausing. But that doesn't seem to apply here. Like before it was, you know, the fish bucket and the chicken falling separately out of frame so I could catch one of them and drop the other. This is just a guy grabbing stuff. Um, if there was a way to get the chicken out from under his view... Like, it feels like his... Oh, oh, I know what it is. Oh, no. Okay, gotta catch his blink. Okay, I'm gonna watch... I'm, right now I'm watching my preview screen on OBS, and that's got a split-second delay, so I'm gonna watch my screen on the iPad instead. There we go. Oh, was it too late? I think I it was too late. He probably already saw it, so we're gonna... There. Now, he never sees the check-in enter the frame at all. Doop de doop de doop. Yep, you can go ahead and have your vegetarian <laughs> picnic without chicken. <sighs> this game is great. These puzzles are really great. It's like, sometimes when I first look at one of these puzzles, I feel like I don't have the tools that it takes to, to solve it, but I do. And if I just think through what tools I actually have and what tools I don't have, th the solution eventually presents itself. Okay, so... Okay, so this is probably poorly timed. Okay, so what I probably need to do... Hmm. Okay, let's... Okay, we want this to fire off. Then, okay, then the chicken gets by. And then the next one... Oh! Oh, crap. Oh, I'm really gonna have to... Okay, so I don't want this one... I don't want this one to be up when the chicken gets in there. All right. Hopefully my timing's okay. And we'll see if this timing was all right. Yes, okay, cool. Baby chicky, we got you, baby chicky. Oh, you're so cute. Rusty Iron Pants says this game reminds me of Pedestrian. Have you played that one? No, I haven't played Pedestrian. I haven't heard of that. Uh, that makes me want to look it up, though. Uh, Fluffy Panda asks, "What game is this?" So this is all of you. Uh, it's a game about chickens and certain death and evading it. Okay, well, obviously this bat is going to do something terrible to my chicken. Okay. It's, okay, its eyes close, and then it pops open again. What does that mean to the timing? Because unlike the guy, like he was in a different panel. I could leave him paused with his eyes closed. This time, the chicken has to walk in. Okay. So I have to try to time this so the eyes close right as the chicken passes beneath. Okay, so let's say it's paused there with the eyes starting to close. Then we let the chicken in and it's clear. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, actually, that's of course, that's the state it starts in. So we don't want that. Okay, let's start it right after the bat has opened its eyes. See if that lines up okay. So it's gonna start to go, to... oh, nope. The eyes stay open way too long for that. Okay, let's try a different time. It's hard to calculate this out. It's not like I'm looking at a timeline. So it blinks twice, and after the second blink, it starts to close its eyes again. So maybe it's the second blink where I want to pause it. Oh, wait a minute. 
There wasn't a second blink that time. It just started closing its eyes immediately. Let's watch this some more. Oh! It has an extended... So I just had to wait? I had to wait longer in the loop? I just had to have patience. I just had to wait longer for the second loop so that it would actually keep its eyes closed. That's that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that to be a thing. The Killing Knight asks if I'm playing on the new Xbox. I am not. Uh, you can tell from the aspect ratio here. Uh, I am playing on an iPad, and uh, this is just this is a cute little mobile game uh, called All of You on Apple Arcade. And, oh man, okay, there's dragons, apparently. So I've got to get all the way across. Okay, I've got to hide behind things, I think. Okay, let's move here, and then pause. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Okay, let's hide in between. Oh, really? Hiding in between is not a thing. All right. Well, that's good to know. I guess that would be too easy. That would just be the answer, right? Okay, so we gotta hide behind stuff. Okay, can we get here in time? Oh, crap. He's still over there. Ah. Okay, we gotta get him all the way through. So I gotta make sure I wait until he's between frames, then un then unpause the next frame, then pause it. Well, sh why am I saying he? This is obviously a mother hen. Okay, I just okay. My timing was off a little bit. Okay, let's start moving this way. Let's get in between. Walk over here. And oh no! Okay, so definitely don't want to be chasing the head there. I'm going to be leading the head in that case. So let's go over here. Pause. Okay, so I don't want to be leading. I don't want to be chasing the head. I want to be leading the head. So that means okay, I'm going to wait until the head crosses past me. And then I'm going to hit unpause. All right. And then wait till the icon appears. And then keep going and pause. All right, now let's wait till the head goes past. And then start it up again. And we're safe behind obstacles. Oh, I got my little baby chicky. Okay, that felt like a boss battle. So I think I'm going to cut it here. I'll leave the, the rest of this game as an exercise for the viewer to explore. But what an adorable game, right? And again, I'm, I'm really impressed by the fact that there were no failure puzzles in this. There were no puzzles where you're just reusing stuff you already knew in a different context. Like, you're, like they really are just teaching you new ways to interact with these systems every single time they introduce a new level, which is tough. I mean, I don't know how many levels there are in this game. It's going to... Ah, there are so many. If they keep up this pace throughout the game... Um, that's really impressive. <laughs> so, anyway, this game is really cool. If you have Apple Arcade, that's where it is. I don't know uh, where else it might appear, but that's where I got it. And, uh, yeah, I think it's really cool. So, let's, uh, let's wrap up the video. And those of you who are watching me live uh, can stick around because we're going to play a bunch more games tonight.